Nice TV. Thanks for being with us. You know, I have worked up an appetite. Ooh, so have I, but I am always hungry. Then it's the perfect time to visit a local Fort Myers favorite. Come with me as we explore Kristoff. If someone tells you to dress up for dinner, they're not a local. When we eat in Florida, we want fresh, we want delicious, and above all, we want it casual and comfortable. It's no wonder that the locals flock to Kristoff's on McGregor, a quaint little cafe serving up the best in modern comfort foods. So why comfort food? Because this is an actual house that was turned into a restaurant. This building was made in 1935 as an old Florida home. Everything that could be kept from the original house was properly restored, while the rest of the materials were recycled and repurposed. Now we're standing in the bar and lounge area, and what's so interesting about this is it actually was built onto the house. This used to be the backyard, and that used to be the back door. In addition to being a lover of art and architecture, Chef Kristoff is an experienced and knowledgeable chef who has cooked and owned restaurants around the world. I went to England, I went to the Middle East, I went to the Far East. Uh, I cooked pretty much everywhere. I had my own restaurant in Paris. So really, I've been cooked for a really long time. Chef Kristoff has only one rule that he strongly enforces, fresh ingredients always. You see the water is boiling, what we're going to do is we drop the tomatoes into the water. Yeah, what Chef's doing is what's called a concasse. He's taking a fresh tomato, putting it in hot water, peeling it, and that way we're not using any cans. No can openers here, just fresh tomatoes. Put some fresh sea salt. Capelli d'angelo. <laughs> Say that again. Capelli d'angelo. I will just leave it at angel hair. <laughs> Beautiful. It's gorgeous. Same at the same time, other shrimp. Shrimps and mussels, they pretty much about the same time to cook. Now what I'm smelling is a little bit of that clam juice, a little bit of the garlic that's toasting up, and of course that sea salt. It's nice and fragrant. Oh, wow. Freshly caught Florida grouper meets tomatoes and cooked pasta. And if seafood is not your dish, enjoy a comfort food favorite like garlic mashed potatoes and a braised pork shank. Or maybe you'll enjoy a tribute to New Orleans like the Cajun-styled gnocchi. Handmade potato dumplings with andouille sausage and freshly chopped vegetables. I find the food is incredible. I like a little bit of everything. People and the staff, they're, they're excellent. And they give you that personal attention that just makes it all worthwhile. Sipping wine, enjoying the sunshine, and I, I can't believe how beautiful this pasta is. And everything is so fresh. Nothing came from the can. Nothing. And, and this is how you do business every day. That's pretty much it, yes. This is a lot of chicken, though. Enjoy a glass of wine, good food, a great company, beautiful scenery. And in Southwest Florida, this is a real Dolce Vita all the way. Salute. Salute. Now that was a treat for the taste buds, eyes, and ears. It did look amazing. I can't wait to check it out. For more on any other local restaurant favorites featured on Paradise TV, log on to our website, fox4now.com slash paradise. There's still more to come on Paradise TV. So don't go anywhere. When we come back, the answer to tonight's trivia question. But first, more pictures in paradise, brought to you by the Seminole Casino Immokalee.